Hi, I'm Rhonda Massaf from the West Island News, and I am here for your Real Estate Minute with Mark LaRue from the Cardinal Realty Group. Thanks for coming on again. My pleasure, Rhonda. All right. I am asking about what's happening now in the market because uh, the newspapers are reporting that we're going to be seeing a dip in the market. What does that mean to me? How anxious should I be about either buying or selling? There's a lot of articles in the news right now and talking about what's going to happen in the next few months and the next year. Uh, in terms of the market, and we're definitely in a shift. So we were in this seller's market, there was no inventory, and people had a really tough time buying properties. We're, we're shifting from that to something else. So where are we gonna land exactly is anyone's guess. Uh, if I had a crystal ball, if I could tell you where that is. You'd be I'd one rich pro- guy. <laughs> I'm probably living on an island right now. But um, we could go to a balanced market, or we could go all the way to a buyer's market over the next year or two, depending where rates go. Um, there's so many things as well that can play into that. Government regulations can make lending easier if they find that buyers are having a tough time qualifying um, for loans. There's so many things that can happen. So we don't know how many properties as well are going to come on the market as as the market shifts. So these are things to take into consideration. So when it shifts, we see, well, the, the mortgage rates, let's face it, COVID had an impact on real estate. The beginning of COVID, we couldn't get in houses to see them. So the anxiety of if you wanted to sell there was pressure. And yep. then the idea that people were, were working from home, realizing that they were going to always be home, switching to a home that would be better suited for them. So there was more demand. And now we're looking at maybe a stabilization because COVID seems to be stabilizing also. Like, could that be part of it? Sure. And we did a bit right on, on the whole COVID and how it affected the market. Um, I think that people are realizing whether they can work from home, whether they're going back to the office. Uh, definitely the whole situation with COVID is, is, is progressing all the time. But I think that um, the real estate market did get affected by all of that. And we're going to come out of it just a question of, are we going to go back to how things were in 2019? Or I think that there's going to be a lot of factors to make it a new market, uh, a new situation. Definitely, there's a lot of things that are going to have changed since well, 2019. The market, go like real estate in terms of an investment, it goes up, it stabilize, goes down, stabilizes, goes, but it's continuously on an upward trend. We don't see the same prices that we did in the 1970s. That's never, we're never going to return to that. But we we go up and then we stabilize or go down and then go up a bit and it's continuously on an upward flow. So I don't think we're going to go back to like, you know, buying houses for a hundred grand. Right. So uh, there's really no emergency, even if there is a dip in the market, if prices dip a little bit in 2023, um, they will come back. We saw a quick dip in in the Toronto market a couple of years ago when there was regulations against... uh, foreign investment, taxing uh, foreign investment and things like that. Uh, these are things that, that are, are going to happen. But then we saw the market turn right around. So I think if, if we have a dip in the market, it's going to make buying easier. So when you know that it's easier for you to buy something, it makes you more comfortable putting your house on the market. So the whole buying and selling process is going to be uh, easier in the months to come than it has been in the months that are past. Right. So there's really no emergency. I, I, I feel that we're going towards a balanced market, which is great for buyers. Um, it, it's more interesting for brokers. There's plenty of properties available. So it just makes the whole process of buying and selling property Not better. So, intense. It's so, so properties intense. are going to stay on the market a little bit longer. Sellers won't have this, you know, bought, listed and sold in a week uh, like we've been seeing with uh, 15 offers. But uh, they're still going to make out very, very well. And then they'll be able to buy something. Okay. Yeah. All right, if you have questions about that and in particular want to have your home evaluated or you just want to have a chat with Mark, call him up at all the numbers that we keep it keep in the text and down here for you. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming on.